you bear every burden and pay every price forever. <laughs> Thank you for that, Avila Hari. Now, Adora, you were the Indonesia's ambassador to Singapore. So you know this, you know that in Singapore it's a one party rule. And the cons to it is we have insufficient checks and balances. And the pros to this is that, you know, we can engage in long term planning. Can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like fading now? away. Yo. Can you hear yeah, me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. Fades away. Your, your, your voice is fades away. Oh, okay. Okay, right, go ahead. Go ahead I'll, go I'll go do go my go. best. Okay. So, um, my question to you, Nura, is how do you think the United States can embrace a long term strategy towards Asia? Because I hear the two gentlemen, they are talking about Trump, Biden, Obama. How can they embrace a long term strategy towards Asia so that it doesn't falter every time? A new president uh, and one with very different philosophy or vastly different vision come into the White House. How can they do that? Well, I mean, uh, to uh, to be uh, consistent consistent in their in, in what they promised before, and to well, you know, as I mentioned earlier, of course, Steve, I understand that you have a house to be in order first, but you know, uh, I mean, you know, this is also uh, uh, the partner that has already been willing. And ready to uh, to talk and, and and to sit down with you, you know. Even to find time to sit down, you don't have. So uh, then, you know, very unfortunate if this is every cycle of the new administrations. You have to start again from the scratch. You know, U.S. is the resident power. We admit that, and we even uh, uh, you know we even keep on saying that you have to be here. You have to be engaging with all of the uh, parties here. But if this is again, then the, the situation that we are facing, then I'm afraid that, you know, uh, every time when Indonesia is voicing our strong uh, voice to, uh, to uh, I mean, now within ASEAN, when we say that let's have a meeting with uh, Blinken, they said that no, wait for AMM uh, PMC in, in August. There's no urgency to talk to them, you know. I mean, we just uh, took it for granted before. <laughs> so if, if they're not serious, then let's do it in a, in a normal, a regular meeting and just a blah, blah, you know. Uh, well, at the beginning, there were a request uh, to talk about uh, Myanmar. But of course, ASEAN did not yet having a consensus within ASEAN to, 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 to settle what needs to be done. Then, you know, it was delayed for a while, you know, because uh, what we need to do, of course, not only the issue of Myanmar. I mean, we do not want also to see, as what happened in the past, that ASEAN is being punished for the attitude of one country or even one uh, particular, uh, you know, uh, regime that is not uh, really uh, in line with uh, the whole the majority of the of the people. Let's engage the majority to influence that, uh, you know, uh, minorities. So the the key here is, I mean, a, a meeting for one hour. What is what is the? I mean, why why don't you have that? A meeting for one hour, a meeting for one or two hours. You know, Nura, just to just to add on to that. Um, you know, I think their heart is willing, but I'm not sure that uh, America has the necessary human capital for understanding Asia. It doesn't seem that, uh, you know, they, they understand the Asian culture very well because 80% of success is just showing up here, right? Isn't it? So how No, I mean, you know, look look at, I mean, of course, there are, there are stories about so many people are living state department, but, you know, if you compare that, with the Ministry for Foreign Affairs in ASEAN countries, so they, they I mean, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot tell us that we don't have human resources. I spoke with, uh, uh, I, I spoke with uh, Kurt Campbell the other day, and we we agree. I reminded him, look, you are the one who keep on saying that engagement. You know, even now, as a telephone conversation with the ASEAN leaders did not even take place between uh, President Biden. A telephone conversation. It, it's only a 15 minutes, a 30 minutes conversation. And, 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 and yet we need to understand. We need, we need to be in the position that we, need, we have to understand 
the circumstances that they are facing. Can I say so, something here, Lily? Yes, please. Uh, I think I, I, I generally agree with what Nora said, but I think we have to be realistic. Huh? The U.S. is a global power. Yeah, yeah. Southeast Asia is one of a huge agenda, <laughs> right? And in a way, I'm glad that we are not high on the agenda because it means that we are not a huge problem, you know, <laughs> right? If, 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 uh, if the first thing that Mr. Blinken or, or Mr. Biden thinks of calling is some ASEAN leader, that means we are in trouble, you know? <laughs> there means something wrong is happening, right? Don't forget that, okay, there are two ASEAN countries that are former treaty allies, but in a very loose sense, right? Most of us are non-aligned. It is quite clear where the Biden administration's priorities were. All the first phone calls, all the first visits are Asian allies, right? There were calls, I think, to some ASEAN foreign ministers, including uh, Ibu Retno, I believe, right? Uh, and so I think we are, and we must, and let me return to a point I made at the very beginning. If we are going to be central, we have to make ourselves relevant and useful. That's true. Agreed. 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 We cannot just sit down and say, I am central, I am central, I am central. <laughs> Why are Agreed. you neglecting me? <laughs> right? You have to do. So I said, you want to be engaged. The engagement is not up for us' sake. The engagement is to seek your cooperation. There are certain things we can do. There are certain things we may not be willing to do. There are certain things we can do as individual countries. There are certain things we can do maybe collectively as ASEAN. We need ourselves to decide on that, you know. I think Indonesia knows what it can and cannot do. I know Singapore knows what it can and cannot do. I'm not quite sure about the rest, you know. <laughs> But I, I'll say though that, that that I was just going to say there are, there are plenty of voices building now to urge that engagement with uh, in, with with ASEAN across Southeast Asia uh, across the Asia Pacific. You have you know a call from you know which the AmCham Singapore, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, the the National Center for APEC, all urging the United States to host APEC in 2023, which right now does not have a, a host country. That would force the U.S. to really engage with the 21, you know, member economies uh, of APEC over a period of time. And so that, you know, we're urging that engagement. There are a lot of groups, you know, urging the United States to do a digital trade agreement, either do it with, with Singapore or do some combination of Singapore, Japan, Australia, uh, a digital trade agreement, because we know you know, TPP is not going to happen in the first couple of years of a Biden administration. But this could be, one, it's important to do a digital trade agreement. And two, it could be a springboard to greater economic and trade integration across Asia Pacific. So you do have those calls, you know, from the United States. Uh, business community, uh, you have from society, you have calls for greater engagement on the environmental side. Indonesia is making great strides in terms of climate. There's a huge opportunity with what Secretary, you know, Kerry is doing uh, and, and with COP26 for the U.S. to work with Indonesia. So there's other ways to get it done. We do want to see, I think, the, the formal engagement at the leader level. But as, as Bill Ahari mentioned, there, there's a priority that's going on and, and ASEAN is not at the top of the list right now for, for any number of reasons, but it's going to get to the top soon. Yeah, can I can I return to what uh, Bilahari mentioned earlier? To be realistic, I think I think we are realistic enough, you know, because at least you know uh, the, the, the the whether you like it or not, whether there is a, a satisfaction or not, the region is benign from major military conflicts, and that is the reason why the U.S. do not need to spend their resources in order to deal with this particular region, and we also try to be also relevant in the wider region. So I think uh, just a recognition on that. And number two, uh, to be realistic, you know, I know that the U.S. has already been, uh, when last year when, uh, when the, uh, the, the, the pandemic was really uh, hitting very bad the U.S., we, we, we have been talking uh, concerning uh, how we will be able to, take, for example, to make vaccine available. Uh, to 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 start talking, I mean, to start uh, facilitating uh, the discussion among the businesses to make vaccine available to no avail. And then, of course, then you know we have the big elephant 
offering us vaccine and we took it. And then now there are discussion that, you know, when we are talking about a vaccine certificate, this, this doesn't work. I mean, uh, this is very realistic, you know, this is very realistic. So, uh, I mean, uh, to be, to be uh, a true partner uh, for us, you know, immediately when President Biden invited President Jokowi to participate at the climate conference, we are not only participating, but we are also establishing a joint task force co-chaired by Minister Luhut and also uh, Secretary Kerry. And we are even talking, following up, not only just to make the event big, we are following up with concrete and realistic uh, approach on the implementation of our own, of our common objective to reduce the emission. We are involving private sectors, we are involving all stakeholders to be able to, you know, do it together. So, I mean, you know, we will, we will uh, continue engaging the U.S. But again, you know, you need two to tango. Uh, 